Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Beautiful, beautiful day here on the farm. I've been out working in the garden, and as I started working out in the garden this morning, something disturbing has happened. What's going on right now is there is an airplane flying about 100 feet above the tree line here on the farm, and it's spraying some sort of pesticide on my farm. This is a government mandated pesticide spray going on on my farm. I can smell it in the air. I was out working in the garden. We're gonna take you down and show you the garden. We're gonna show you this plane here in just a minute. It's been flying back and forth, back and forth over my farm all morning long, and I'm afraid to go outside. I'm afraid to breathe this stuff in. I don't wanna breathe it in. So I'll show you guys. So come along today. We'll give you a little garden update, and I'm gonna show you this plane that's flying over, spraying pesticide across my farm. It's something, something's not right about that. I have no choice, no choice in this matter at all. Guys, before we get started, I wanna show you some cool new additions to the farm family. Check them out. Guys, we ended up getting six little baby ducks for the farm here, and this is our little mobile coop idea. Basically, here it's just a rope right here, and we just move this coop basically every day or every other day. And the back of it is on snow skis. So, pretty cool little setup. You just lift up on the front, and you pull this coop from different paddock to different paddock, little squares. And that's so the baby ducks get fresh grass every day. Cool. Basically every morning my routine when I'm not working is to get up, go out in the garden, do a little bit of work in the garden for an hour or so and I'll take you through and I'll show you what we're doing. I've got some interesting concepts on weed control and chicken coops down here too. Guys, please click that like button. If this is your first time to Stony Ridge Farm Channel, please subscribe to the channel and follow us on our farm journey. I'll show you what I was doing this morning when I walked outside. I'll just walk over here in the garden and show you. So these are our tomato plants. These are beef eater tomato plants. And this is our trellis system. Posted a video about that a couple days ago. And these are more tomatoes. Got a nice decent little line of gourds out here. More tomatoes out there squash different squashes and corn over here you know just a simple garden guys uh, we're doing a lot of weed control as you can tell look at how nice that is just no weeds whatsoever all natural so i'll show you what we're doing on weed control this area here looked like that right there that's how many weeds were growing up through all of my squash plants so we went through with a hoe and just hoed them out and cleaned up the weeds, all natural, no sprays, no nothing like that. Now my corn, it's another story. I haven't been in there and weeded yet, but we'll get in there in the next day or so. Now we've got a beautiful row of green beans going right here, and this is again the trellis system that we're using. And we've got some cucumbers, and that's our orchard that you can see out there. I think we have about 60 fruit trees growing, and our honeybees. These are our cucumbers here, and we have a little trellis system, and we have a couple rows that we're just gonna weed and we'll be planting some okra right here. So we're leaving a few extra rows just in case we wanna plant some extra goodies in the garden this year. So everything here in the garden is symbiotic. Symbiotic meaning everything works on everything else. The honeybees are right back there. They are there for fertilizing our fruit trees, which are there and for our garden. And we also have our chickens close by so we can spread chicken manure here on the garden too. Now, once the garden peters out at the end of the season, we'll fence this whole area in and leave the chickens in here and let them munch down all the goodies and put down some good butt fertilizer for us. That manure, that good old butt fertilizer. This will be a wonderful garden for us to feed our family on. Most of the time when we plant stuff like green beans, we'll do a lot of canning. So there'll be a lot of canning videos to come soon. But I really just wanted to come out here, show you the garden, show you what's going on and talk to you about this government mandated spraying that I'm just not comfortable with. I'm just not comfortable with it, guys. Post a comment down there, tell me what you think. As soon as this plane flies over again, he must have went and reloaded with spray. But I mean, I can taste it in the air. I can taste it on the back of my teeth. And when I was out here working this morning, I actually had to go back into the house, shut all the windows, and you know, I was just afraid that breathing that stuff was gonna make me sick. Not cool. Not cool. Let's get you a shot of this plane when it flies over. It's literally skimming the top of the trees. 
So here on the Farm Channel, we use a drone sometimes when we fly the drone around and we have to stay below 400 feet. Now this plane is clearly below 400 feet. That's my airspace. That's the air that I breathe. I, I don't know. Again, I ask you, post a comment down there. Should I have to go inside for fear of this chemical spray that's being released into the air over my farm, our 200 acre farm? Here it comes, here comes the plane. I don't want to breathe this. That's flying right over my field over there. I shouldn't have to breathe that. <coughs> I shouldn't have to breathe this, man. I, I, I shouldn't have to breathe this. In a free country, I didn't vote for that. I didn't vote for some airplane to be flying over my farm spraying for a gypsy moth. Now, it might be for the best. If any of you guys know about this stuff, leave a comment down there. We're gonna actually hop on the gator here and we're gonna run over and I'll show you one of these little gypsy moth traps, okay? It's a big orange trap. All right, so I'm over here on the other side of my farm and this chemical spray, it just feels like it's coating my body. So right here, is one of the gypsy moth traps. So you can see a little flag from the road, and right here is one of the traps. It's like a corrugated plastic trap that's set up for these gypsy moths. Now the whole area here just has a foul smell of spray going on. I don't know exactly what the, what the spray is, but we all received a letter from the government saying that the spray was safe and that it wouldn't harm you. I smell it. If I smell it, it can harm me. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna get over here in the middle of my field and get a shot of this plane coming over here. I mean, I could. Ah, so bad. It's so bad that I'm underneath where the plane is flying, and my neighbor's kids are outside playing, and I just want to tell them to go inside. The basic gist of this is that the government can come in and do whatever they want to do. I guess. Guys, I really hesitated to make this video. I stewed about it, and I've stewed about it enough to where I think it's probably just about quitting time for this spray crew that's flying over. I don't know, tell me what you think. They're dropping pesticide on my land, on my trees, on my honeybees, on my garden. I don't know what this pesticide is. It's supposed to kill the gypsy moth or the gypsy moth larva. I don't know a whole lot of history on the gypsy moth. I hear that they attack the ash tree and we have ash trees around here, but not very many of them. There's just a smell. There's just a chemical smell in the air. You can feel it in your, in your mouth. You can feel it in your nose. You can feel it on your skin. And to me, something's not right about that. I couldn't work in my garden this morning for fear of being sprayed by a government mandated airplane. There's just something not right about that. If any of you guys know anything about the gypsy moth or if anything like this has ever happened to you, post me a comment down there and just tell me what you think. Even if this hasn't happened to you, tell me what you think. I don't know whether they're organic farms around here. I do know that they're organic tobacco farms around here and they're flying over them, spraying them too. So I don't know. Does that ruin the organicness of, of your garden, of your tobacco farm? I don't know. I was torn about doing a video about this because uh, I guess it's for the best, I guess it's for the greater good, but to me, I should be able to work out in my garden in the morning and not worry about an airplane flying over spraying me with pesticide from the government. Guys, thanks a lot for watching the farm vlog today. I just wanted to show you one of the concerns, one of the things that's going on on the farm, give you a little garden update, and you know, just tell you what I'm concerned about here. So if this is your first time, pound that like button, click that little bell down there, it'll notify you when I post a new video, and we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farm Channel. We'll come right. on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids, we're living life pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.